I'm Ashley Skeva, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. You might be familiar with iMessages, which is an app in your iPad or iPhone, but Apple has now brought iMessage functionality to your Mac desktop or laptop computer. The newest software update for your Mac operating system, called Mountain Lion, now offers iMessage functionality in Messages. So let's take a look at it and how we can send messages to anybody with an Apple ID or an iPhone. The first thing we're going to do on our Apple computer is we are going to open Messages. So let's open up Messages. And here's all of our contacts here. And we want to make sure that iMessage is actually enabled. You have to enable it with your Apple ID and your password. We're going to go to Messages, and then we're going to go down to Accounts. You'll see there's multiple accounts here that I've had set up, but the one we're looking for is iMessage, and you can see for me, it's got a check mark next to it. If it doesn't have a check mark next to it, you can check the box, and it will ask for your iMessage or Apple ID and password. So once we've done that, we have enabled iMessage. So what we're gonna do is we're going to send an iMessage to our favorite cameraman here at Tekka TV, Tim. So to compose a new message, you're going to click on this pencil and paper here. And once you do, you're gonna see, this is a new message that I'd like to send. Now, I'm gonna type in his Apple ID, which could be any type of email, or if you have somebody with an iPhone, you can put in their phone number. So we're gonna put in Tim's email. And here are the different ways that I can get a hold of Tim. And the very first one here is iMessage. So we are going to click on that. And you can see right here in the message bar where you type in your message, it says iMessage in very light colored letters. So I'm just gonna say, hi, Tim. And I'm going to hit enter. And so now I have sent this message off to Tim. Well, the best part about iMessage is that it doesn't count against text messaging limits that you might have on your carrier. It's data-based, which means it's just using data in the same way that BBM uses data as well. So you're not actually using a real text message for iMessages. It's a really easy way to get a hold of friends and family and have it not count against their text messaging limits or your data limits. And that's how to use iMessage in messages on OS X Mountain Lion. That's it for Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.